Hey everybody, welcome back to some more unboxing videos. Today I have another Nintendo Switch game, Luigi's Mansion 3. I did that the wrong way around, but that's okay, we got there in the end. So glad I got this game. I've really enjoyed the one on GameCube. I pretty much spent 20 quid on that one back in the day, which was very lucky because now it's worth about 50 quid on eBay. But Luigi's Mansion, absolutely loved. Then there was Luigi's Mansion 2 on the 3DS. Loved that game. That was a really good element. Then I find out that Luigi's Mansion for the GameCube has been remastered on the 3DS, which I just found out the other day. Don't know how that was kept a secret from me. So I'm, I'm definitely going to try and get that at some point. And now for the Switch, I knew they were going to do this because the last two games were a success. And we have Luigi's Mansion 3. And oh my god, this... I have seen gameplay footage. I have seen co-op of it. It is amazing. And I just... Honestly, the way you use your slime, Luigi, the way you just like use every element in your path... It is amazing, and there's like three different outcomes that you can get at the end, which is like in every Luigi's game, but oh my god. So right now I'm going to show you the front cover. We have Luigi with the light looking very terrified. Love how they styled him like that. We see all the details in his face. Nice how we have the slime Luigi above him. It's like a mirror image of him. And then we turn it back on the back, we have all this to glare at. And a relaxing hotel get, uh, getaway. What could possibly go wrong? Behold, Professor Ed Gad's latest invention, Googly. Or Googavuji, whatever it's called. I'll call him Slime Luigi. Switch between Lu Luigi and the slime in single player, or each control one in two player co op. I love how they're using the elements of two, two player, like in co op mode, which is amazing. No iron bars or air vents can stop the slime Luigi. Um, burst, um, blast out air or blow away uh, peaky ghosts from and furniture. Uh, blag ghosts around with big damage with the slam. Meet the souped up uh, polter ghost now with all new features. And it has up to eight players on um, online play, which is the Scare Scraper, which uh, they had something similar on the 3DS, and that was really good. We also have Screen Park, um, Coin Floating, and Canyon um, Barrage, I think, Canyon Barrage. Uh, two to eight players can duke it out on one console in this fun party mode. So they have all this stuff that you can indulge online or local. It is amazing. Start by opening this bit up. If I can get my big meaty hands through, don't worry. It will work eventually. Normally they just pop. Actually, wait, I swear there's meant there to be a simpler way to do this. When in doubt, just cheat. There we go. <coughs> Whew! Got there in the end. Now. Let's open this bad boy up. Okay, not the worst design ever on the back, but it's still nice to look at. Poster form, maybe. Yeah, they could have added a brochure or something. They could have added like some different rather than this. This is a poster, perfectly. This is an insert, mm, could be a bit 50-50. And then we have the game cartridge right here. That is... Luigi's Mansion 3 on Nintendo Switch. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you did and you want to share the love, please like it, S subscribe to my channel, and if you haven't done already, and if you're new when you do subscribe, make sure and post notifications by ticking that bell. And what that does is that it keeps you up to date via email or notification on any new videos that get released onto my channel, so you never miss an upload from me. And I'll see you next time. But until then, take care.